Hey you guys, I'm Roger Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys what game I'm playing right now a lot. And it's Ratchet and Clank, the bundle for the PlayStation Vita. Um, right now, I am playing the Up Your Arsenal game, uh, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the latest one of all these three games included in this bundle. Um, and I gotta say, I've been truly, truly, truly enjoying it. Um, it looks very, very awesome, and the reason I, I am playing this game and I'm not playing other new games in, that's available right now in the market is because I finished playing the PlayStation 4 version of Unch um, Uncharted. <laughs> yes, I did finish Uncharted 4. But before Uncharted 4, I played uh, Ratchet and Clank, and I loved it. That game on the PlayStation 4 looks damn freaking amazing. And a lot of people say that Uncharted 4 is the best looking game, but damn, honestly, I don't know. It depends how you look at it. Because honestly, Ratchet and Clank looks amazing on the PlayStation 4. So, I don't know. Some people could say that if Ratchet and Clank is better looking than Uncharted, I wouldn't complain. Because that game looks amazing. So, the thing is, I, I, after finishing playing that game, I... I still wanted to play some more Ratchet and Clank. And these games, these games from the PlayStation Vita, which is the original one, if you want to play the same one that came available for PlayStation 4, that would be the first um, Ratchet and Clank game in this bundle. Of course, a lot of the levels are totally redesigned to look better on the PlayStation 4. but And the story as well, I think the story was also tweaked. Uh, for the PlayStation 4 because of the movie as well because uh, there was a new movie that came out. I didn't watch the movie, so um, it sucks. I know I should have watched the movie, even though, you know, being a Ratchet and Clank fan, I should have watched the movie, but I was too busy and there was, there was other movies that I wanted to play and games that I wanted to play. Uh, but did you guys see the movie? Anybody here, please comment in the in the in the comment is it bad because i it hasn't been receiving good reviews i did see reviews of the movies and a lot of the movies are not favorable at all uh but still i would still watch it i don't care about the reviews i would still watch the movie i guess i'm gonna have to wait for it to come on dvd or blu-ray uh, because there's still a lot of movies i want to play as well but going back here to um ratchet and clank uh, one negative thing I would have to say about this version of the game is that this is the U.S. version. And the problem with the U.S. version is that we only get it digital. That really, really sucks. We only get the digital version of this game. Uh, if you want to get it physical, you would have to go to Amazon, um, which is the easiest way to buy it. Go to Amazon. If you're in the United States, then search for it and you can get it from there. But the game is from UK, if I'm not mistaken. It's, and I think it's also being shipped from UK. And the price for it is around $39.99, which is the price of a full game. But you're getting three games too. You're getting three full HD games too. So, when you think about it, it's, it's worth it if you are a Ratchet and Clank fan. And every single one of them have trophies as well. And um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, with all the games, since it's three games, I think you, get, you actually get three platinum games. If I'm not mistaken. I did make a video for this when it first came out. I think it came out, wow, I think it came out 2014, I think it was. And I did make a video for each one of the games, and I think I showed the trophies for each one of the games. And I think every single one of them as a platinum, which is if, it, if it's true, if I'm not wrong, that's awesome. Especially if you're a uh, one of those platinum hunter uh, trophy that kind of guy. Um, so yeah, I decided to go ahead and, and start playing this game again on the PlayStation Vita. I've been playing uh, this game, which I think I'm finishing already. I think I'm already finished because here I just I reloaded a mission that I finished. Um, like four days ago, and I've been playing this game almost every single day. Um, every time I do, I can, right? And this mission, I finished it like wow, I think I finished it like uh, three or four days ago. And um, and I think I'm in the last levels, 
Because right now, I'm in a mission where I'm playing as Clank. Yeah, I don't know after that how many missions all of it are left. But I think I'm about to finish off the arsenal. And uh, I might go back and play the other one, the one that comes before this one, which is um, Brain Commander. I think it's Brain Commander. Um, but I know, I don't know, I can't remember which one is the best. I think up your arsenal, which is this one, I think this one has the better uh, review of all, all of them. But it, uh, other than that, it's a very good game. Like I said, the only negative thing about this game is that it's digital only in the United States. And that really sucks. I, I don't get how Sony let this happen. A game, a franchise like this, a franchise that's so popular, so popular here, you know, in Sony community, comes in freaking digital. I don't get it. And and it's not the first digital, it's not the first remastered game that came out for the PlayStation 3, though. We also got Sly Cooper. Wait, wait a second. Do we have Sly Cooper? Hmm, I don't know if we have Sly Cooper the collection. I know we have Sly Cooper the, the last game, Thieves of Time, which is an amazing game as well. You guys should play it. Um, but we also got Jackson Dexter, which was an HD collection. Um, it had some frame rate issues, but I don't know if it was fixed with the uh, updates. I, I really don't know if it did get update, updated for the frame rate. But that game came physically for the PlayStation Vita. Um, the, like I said, Sly Cooper also came physically for the PlayStation Vita. Um, but we did not get this game physically for the PlayStation Vita here in the United States. And like I said, I'm going to leave the link in my description just in case you want to buy it uh, physically from Amazon. That way you can go ahead and, cheat and use my link and purchase it from there. Uh, but you can also go to the PlayStation Store and buy it as well. The only problem is that this game is huge. This game is uh, 3. Point, like 3.3 gigabytes. Yeah, 3.3 gigabytes. So believe me, I have to delete a lot of games just to download and play this game. Um, other than that, the other games that I've been playing is Severed. Severed is an amazing, amazing game. One of my best games so far this year on the PlayStation Vita. Truly, truly, truly enjoy it. And if you have a PlayStation Vita, honestly, you should buy that game. Especially if you want the PlayStation Vita to be supported even more. Um, that game is amazing. I finished the game. I got the two endings. I still haven't got the Platinum. Because like I said, I am not a huge platinum um, um, hunter. You know, if the if the trophies are easy to get, I'll get them. You know, I'll fight for them. But if, if I have to get out of my way and, and spend a lot of time playing the game to get a platinum, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I just want to enjoy the game. But plus, I want to play a lot of games. And this game feels amazing. That game feels amazing feels amazing and the other game that I after I finished playing that game I actually switched back to Assassin's Creed Chronicle which is another game that I recommend all you PlayStation Vita owners to get as well especially if you like the <clears throat> excuse me especially if you like the Assassin's Creed franchise um, that's a very awesome game as well I finished the first uh, Chronicles, which I think it's in, uh, it's not in India, it's in China. The first China one, I finished amazing. And it's very long. It took me a lot of hours to complete. I like this color here. You use a toy. That's very cool. Um, that mission took me, wow, it took me more than six hours or eight hours to complete China alone. And now I am playing um, Russia. I skipped India, so I'm playing Russia. I think I'm finishing Russia, which is an amazing game. It looks beautiful. That game looks beautiful. Um, and I'm finishing Russia. I'm unlocking a lot of trophies as well. And India, I started playing India, but I got stuck in a, in a puzzle there, which, oh my god, seems impossible to beat. And on the PlayStation Vita, I don't know if it's easier on the console. But it's a puzzle where you have to lift some some doors, and you have to jump from one door to another door to another door, then try and go to a, a cliff, hang on to the cliff before all the doors reset again. 
Oh man, it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt, bro. But that game, I had to skip that one. And I have my save file right there, so I can go back anytime and play it again. And I'm playing Russia. And I think I'm about a couple hours before finishing um, Assassin's Creed um, Russia. And um, yeah, this game, like I said, this game is awesome. I like um, this mission right here, uh, where you have to redo a lot of different waves of enemies. Um, after you complete all the waves of enemy, you get a whole bunch of money. And after this mission, I got loaded with, um, with weapons because I was not spending that much money on weapons. And uh, I got to purchase a lot of weapons with the money that I earned here, plus the missions prior. I got the last wave. Knock these suckers down. Ooh, so yeah, I decided to upload this video because it's been a while since I haven't uploaded the PlayStation Vita video, and it's not because I don't like the PlayStation Vita no more. Please, guys, don't think about that. I've been loving the PlayStation Vita since day one. Now the problem is, is that games that are available right now, I'm not into them. You know, uh, yesterday there was a new game called Downwell that came out for the PlayStation Vita. It's a great game. It's a great game if you, if you like those type of games. Um, that game was available first on, on, on Apple, on iOS. Then it was available on Android. And I think the game was available for $2 on iOS and Android. And but I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. Uh, I think I did try it, but I did not like it. And I didn't even make a video of it because I really didn't like it. I'm not into that type of thing. And, but it is very popular. A lot of people really, really, really like that game. But I don't. You know? <laughs> I don't. So I'm not going to be, you know, paying for that game. Um, and uh, here we go. Upgrade this button. It's so cool when you upgrade the weapons. Uh, one of my favorite weapons is this one right here. You, you launch that, and it's like a big, huge bomb. And now that's upgraded, you also launch it, and it releases like uh, electricity and electrocutes all everybody surrounding the glass, which is awesome. And later on, as you keep on progressing, there's a whole bunch of awesome weapons that you unlock in this game. It's insane. You know, and for me, I'm having a great time playing this game, these games, even though these games are old. But when they were available, I think, for PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, I did not play them that much. I played a couple missions here and there, uh, but I didn't play them that much. I was busy playing other, you know, a little bit more grown-up games. <laughs> like Resident Evil, Metal Gear, and all those type of games. And I skip these games, a lot of these games. So for me, I'm have, for me, I'm enjoying these games like if, like if they were new. And like I said, if you played, um, if you played the Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation Four now, and you loved it, and you have a PlayStation Vita, and you want to play some more Ratchet and Clank, I recommend getting this. Either either get it. Via download, which I think is cheaper. I think it's like twenty nine ninety nine, and maybe it's even cheaper. I think on the PSN. And the other day, I think I saw for nineteen ninety nine, which is a pretty sweet deal for three awesome games. Um, but if you want it physically, which is I it's my preferred way, uh, it's thirty nine ninety nine on Amazon. The link that I'm going to leave in my description, and that's it. Just get it from there. Awesome game, I'm telling you guys. Here, all we gotta do is just work on those boats for the turrets. These weapon towers. And that's it, guys. So, I think this is the last part of the mission. 
got this part right here. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Holy crap, I thought I got kicked. I haven't even stream flash. I thought I actually died. One more turn. And she killed me separately from Star. See, that weapon is amazing. And we have a gun. Yep, somebody's shooting at me again. Damn it. Oh. Die, sucker. Okay, there you go. We are done. We are done. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. You see there, we get a very nice cutscene there. Very cool. So, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, like I said, as soon as there's another game that I really like, I will buy it and record the gameplay. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see other gameplay or other old games that I have. Um, and I'll try to do that. But thanks for being in my channel. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I hope you guys like the videos that I upload. And I'll leave a link to this game in the description. That way you can get it from there and see if you really want to buy it. Not just get a good video. So thanks for watching the game. Yeah, uh, video guys. Till next time. Yes, sir. We're on it.